Welcome back to another Brainboxes video guide. Today, we're explaining how the BB400 can connect to a cloud service using Node-RED software and send and receive data from your machines. In the previous video, we showed you how to connect the BB400 to Amazon's cloud service, AWS. And now, we'll continue the process by adding our previously created certificates to our Node-RED flow. Firstly, you'll need to log in to the BB400 cockpit. If you need help with this step, you can find a quick start video guide on connecting the BB400 to your local network below. Navigate to the sidebar, click Apps, open Node-RED, and use the same login details you use to access the cockpit. Here, you will see a few sample flows. We're going to use the flow named Cloud Connectors. You will see the different services Node-RED can send data to, but we're only interested in AWS, so delete the Fred node and the IBM node. To send data to Amazon Web Services, we need to modify the Send to AWS node. Double click and change the server to Add New MQTT Broker. Leave the QoS, Retain and Server Name values blank. The topic name has to match the resource ARN field we input earlier, so type IO status and click the pencil next to Server for further configuration. The server name can be found by going to Amazon Web Services and Manage. Click on your thing and interact. The HTTPS REST API endpoint is also the MQTT server name, so copy this across. Back on Node-RED, set the port number to 8883. Keep the client ID blank and tick Enable Secure SSL slash TLS connection. Click the pencil that has now appeared and upload your device certificate, private key and CA certificate, then click Update. The flow is now ready to be deployed. Double click on the flow name Cloud Connectors Change the status to Enabled and click Done. Now you can click Deploy in the top right corner and your BB400 will connect to Amazon Web Services. To see the events being sent from Node-RED on Amazon Web Services, go back to the IoT Core and click on Test to connect the MQTT client to the device. Enter in the subscription topic, the same as we gave the MQTT node in Node-RED. Click on Subscribe to Topic and you'll see the IO status events being sent to the MQTT client on Amazon Web Services. If you adjust the I.O. status in the cockpit, you should see these changes reflected in real time on AWS. You can also receive events and data from AWS by using the reverse flow. Set up the Receive from AWS node with the same details as we used on the Ascenta AWS node. Head back to Amazon Web Services and delete the default text. Using binary, an array of eight ones or zeros will adjust the I.O. lines in the device to on for one and off for zero with each number representing the DIOs from 0 to 7. Clicking Publish will push this data from AWS to the BB400. Just make sure your topic name is the same. You now have a flow to send a message from Amazon Web Services to the BB400 as well. All of Brainbox's products offer lifetime warranty and support when registered through our website, so don't hesitate to get in touch with any queries or issues you may have. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this video helpful. Follow us on Twitter and sign up to our newsletters.